uh, thing about going to fourth round, it's just opportunity uh, at the end of the day. My goal was just to get in the league, and uh, now it's just time to stay in the league. And that's kind of been my mindset the entire time. It's like when you leave college early, you never know what to expect. Uh, I never filed for a grade or anything like that. I was kind of just betting on myself. And so going to the fourth round is good with me uh, now. It's just it's time to work. And so uh, there really isn't much to it with me. Uh, it's just uh, I'm ready to work, and I'm excited. And what did the team tell you about your opportunity in Jacksonville? Uh, they said, um, you know, am I ready to go in and play the slot? Uh, I definitely am. Uh, definitely can contribute to special teams, and that's what they asked about uh, also. So uh, I think that's what they're expecting, uh, expecting of me is just go in and play uh, nickel and uh, special teams and contribute. Thank you, Mark. Uh, we'll, go to, we'll go to Demetrius next. And then after that, we'll go to Chris. Hey, Josiah, uh, congratulations. H how much did you sort of meet with the Jaguars pre-draft? Um, I actually met with them at the combine uh, once, uh, talked with the DB coach. And then uh, throughout this entire process, actually, uh, I talked with the scouts and uh, I really, really didn't have like much contact with the Jacksonville Jaguars at all. So uh, it was a surprise pick, but I'm definitely happy with uh, with being picked here and coming here. What did they tell you specifically kind of like your the, the traits that you exhibit? Uh, definitely a toughness. Uh, you talked about, you know, he likes Michigan State guys and what they bring to the table with toughness, being able to tackle over and just being an aggressive person. And that's what they kind of liked uh, from me. I appreciate it. Yep. Thank you, Demetrius. We'll go to Chris with Detroit Free Press. And then as a reminder, if anyone has any questions, just make sure to put them in the chat. Um, if not, we'll end with Chris right now. Was I good to see you, man? I hope all's well. I guess what's the last um, mm -hmm. month and a half been like? waiting for this process and then getting here and, and how did you guys celebrate as a family today uh yeah so the last month and a half it's really just been a bunch of meetings uh i know it's been stressful at times because you're meeting with a bunch of teams throughout the entire process and you don't know where you're going to end up going you're not able to take visits and workouts and things like that so it was kind of all over the place but uh really just hear my name called you know just a 10, 15 minutes back ago, it was just a, a huge sigh of relief. And now I get to focus on playing football and doing what I love. And so I had a couple of friends over and obviously my full family here to celebrate right when I was called. Uh, they celebrated immediately and uh, we're downstairs right now, actually. Uh, so just we'll just celebrate throughout the entire day, really. But uh, I'm super excited. As a family full of football players, uh, getting to the ultimate goal, I guess, how has everybody kind of dealt with that? Uh, say everybody's excited like uh nobody was able to get to like the really like this like level of just being able to be drafted so it's a new experience for us and that's why we're super excited because we had a family full of football players but no one's ever been able to be drafted so I was the first one to be able to be drafted so it's uh it's definitely special